Hey friends, welcome back to Oso Farm. We have started our once a month grocery shopping for the month of December. I can hardly believe that. Today we just picked up pickup orders from Target, HEB, and Walmart. And my son and I also went into Hobby Lobby to get a couple of things that we needed for the holiday. So if you're new here, welcome, my name is Brandy. We have always done once a month shopping. We recently had a house fire and are living in a small space while we rebuild. And so we lost all of our stockpile, all of our things that we've gathered for a long time. And so we are now slowly building that up in a small percentage of what we did before because we just don't have space. But we do live out in the country and I like to shop once a month and not have to go back in. So I sat down and I made my entire December menu. I asked all the kids, what's your favorite treats that you wanna eat on Christmas Eve? We do like an appetizer hors d'oeuvre buffet. And I tried to get all of the ingredients for that. So I'm gonna start and show you Hobby Lobby and Target and put that away. And then I'm gonna have to un do H-E-B and Walmart to show you that because I just don't, I only have this little table and very few counter spaces to lay stuff out and we just, it's dark outside, we just had dinner. So I, we came home, had dinner and just don't have space to put it. So let me show you these two things first. Okay, I was just gonna tell you what I spent at Hobby Lobby. I kept my receipt out here. I spent $45.80. We make white chocolate popcorn to give to friends. So I usually buy about 10 of these um, each holiday season. I, like, I prefer this size. It's not the huge one and it's not the tiny. This is about all they had left in this size. So I got four, five, six, seven, I got nine. So we will just make this work. These were 50% off of $3.99. And then I went ahead and got our paper plates for Christmas Eve. Um, we will use one of these Christmas Eve. There's 20 plates in there and then dessert plates. And then one of these Christmas day, we have the appetizer buffet. And then on Christmas day, we're gonna smoke a brisket. We just bought a quarter of a cow. And I just got one of these napkins because really with like brisket and stuff, you want like a really absorbent, just white napkin, but these were so pretty. And they kind of matched both. So I got one of those. We always make meatballs and little finger foods. And so each year I buy something like this. These are just little cute toothpicks. And then we actually have no plasticware in the garage anymore since the fire. So I got 25 of these and I will save these for those two meals. And then I, when I was there, I got to thinking these were $1.99, these serving tins. And I don't have any, I had so many, so many Christmas dishes and things to display all of our food on. So I got four, I got four different um, ones of these so we can put all of our desserts and finger foods on here. I thought these were really cute and they ended up being about a dollar a piece. Okay, now I'm going to move on to Target. I bought these mainly for my grandson, Danny. They're just little fruit snacks shaped like little holiday shapes. I thought that was so cute whenever I see him this month and give him all his Christmas presents. I know little Thomas, his younger brother will like these too. So I got those for those two sweet little grandsons. And then I made this pancake mix the other morning and Brian said it was so much better than the other pancake mixes and we used the last of it. So I went ahead and got two more of this good and gather pancake mix. I forgot to get creamer at Aldi when I did my Aldi run. So I went ahead and got this large hazelnut. We're gonna be having some company off and on. This is more than I could drink in a month, but you know, these don't, ex this doesn't expire until March. And so this will help us when we have company. And then I saw these, I entered in gluten-free 
Good and Gather. I love this Good and Gather brand. And all of these things popped up. So this is an iced oatmeal cookie bar. Yum. And then a strawberry shortcake one. And a cookies and cream. So I will let you know in another video if I like these. I know I have a few followers that said they initially followed me because of gluten-free things. I have celiac disease. So um, the, I think these were $7.99 for a box of 12. So I got every flavor that they have because I was excited to try those. And then an easy meal that I make for the kids is just do rice in the Instapot. And then I get those little chicken bites from Sam's, the frozen chicken little nuggets, and bake those up and then pour this on top. And it's like a little orange chicken. So easy. I got these gluten-free crackers for me for our Christmas Eve. I do have some of the Crunch Master, but they are really, really hard. I do like them, but got these as another option. And then I looked through our toiletries and we really just needed some conditioner. So I got two Suave conditioners. I thought I got two of these Aussie conditioners too, but I only see one. So either it was out of stock or they Put this this fell out somewhere and then this chopper okay my kitty is getting my new evergreen plant I got to make um, when we chop nuts and chop chocolate when I don't want to get out the big food processor that I just replaced this was 1999 so we do a lot of that during the baking holiday season so I went ahead and picked that up then I kind of hid this back here because little man, I didn't want him to see it. I bought him, I think, four games for Christmas. He lost all of his toys in the fire. And so I got a couple of ones that he'd had before that were his favorites. And then I really think that this will be good for math. And we're struggling with taking turns and being patient and stuff like that. So all these board games will be really good developmentally for him and fun to play. And then in here is a stocking stuffer, so I'm gonna keep it in here, but I got, hopefully y'all can see, I got two of these for stocking stuffers. Okay, so I think that is all Target and Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to get this put away and then I'll probably do HEB next. Okay, when I started to gather this stuff up to put it away, I realized I didn't show you the frozen things. All these are gluten-free. So I got a four cheese cauliflower crust pizza and a vegetable cauliflower crust pizza. I saw these, I was gonna try these, these gluten-free muffins, they're frozen. Some gluten-free homestyle waffles. I've tried this before, I really like these in a salad. This Tyson natural chicken strips and then I'm gonna try this Purdue gluten-free nuggets. Okay, y'all don't go shopping at night. I'm getting discouraged and tired. Ugh. Okay, go in the day when you have lots of energy and a full cup of coffee. Okay, so this is H-E-B. The only thing that I'm not showing you is the mineral waters, the glass, 1877. We only bought four of those this month because we still had some left over from last month. Okay, so I'll start over here. This was on their weekly ad and I wanted a very small one that I thought would be like this tall to put on the table. In our last house, I had bought a small one and I bought the little twinkle fairy lights to put on it and it was so cute. So now, I don't know, maybe this, maybe it'll be okay. We'll see, but I bought this, it's very pretty. We can plant it outside. When we're done, I want to say this was $15 for an eight inch pot. It is a blue point juniper. Very pretty. Smells really nice. My cat is trying to eat it, so we'll see. Okay, this is the queso that Brian likes. I went ahead and got two because holidays will be snacking whoop, a lot more. We always get one of their guacamole. Delicious, Coleman. 
And then one pico de gallo, this will be gone this week, probably by the end of the weekend. Today is Friday. I got some lime juice, lots of lime. I have a lot of lemon, but no lime. I have a recipe that calls for this. And then I bought this sweet heat, this small one for when we do our brisket on Christmas day. I buy the gallon size sweet baby rays at Sam's Club to just use for cooking, but this one is gonna be a treat for when we have, you can come in, Lizzie, for when we have our brisket on Christmas day. And last year, my Isaiah, who's now in the military and will not be home for Christmas, made a, with these two things, the wonton wrappers and the blue cheese. It's Paula Dean's um, buffalo chicken wontons with a blue cheese dip. So I went ahead and got this. I will link that recipe below. We won't be making it until Christmas Eve, so it'll be too late for you to watch that video and then make it, but I'll link that below. It was really, really good. Time consuming to make, so I'm sad he's not here to make this for us. Um, but anyway, it's really good. We always get one corn relish, and then this was kind of a splurge. I wanna say these were six or seven dollars a piece, but this Fitch Fisher, can't see this far away with my, uh, my glasses. Okay, y'all can see the brand, okay, and wiser. This is the one that I was getting. And then it pulled up this raspberry chipotle sauce for cream cheese and crackers. And then it pulled up all these other ones. So this peaches and whiskey barbecue sauce I was I bought to go on Christmas Day. And then these I thought would be fun on cream cheese also. The mango ginger habanero. And then these were like little jellies you could spread on crackers. The hot serrano pepper jelly. And then this one is green jalapeno jelly. And then here's another peaches and whiskey barbecue sauce. The hot and spicy sausage I use for breakfast casseroles. And then we do a Six Sisters stuff uh, pot pie, but it just has this pastry sheet as a topping. I will also link that recipe below. And then I went crazy with the creamers. This one is frosted sugar cookie. This is just the sweet cream, and then this is a Cinnabon one. And then this is for my Zeke stocking. He doesn't like chocolate, he loves Skittles. I'm confident he does not watch my grocery hauls. So I grabbed that, and then I didn't even open my Dove chocolate. That was the regular one from last month, but they had this in the weekly ad, so I got a large bag of those, and this is for my Isaiah. Same thing, we'll see him at some point over the holidays, just not on Christmas day, but he loves Mike and Ike's. I don't think he watches my grocery hauls either. So I got him those to add to his Christmas stuff. And then since the fire, we lost all of our things like this. So I got food coloring and then one of the cakes that we're making calls for this mint extract. I got some grapefruits, Esme and I, I think are the only ones that like grapefruits and I don't think I've bought them in months. So. She will be excited about that and some fresh oranges, two tomatoes. We've been making BLTs a couple times a month, so those are for that. And then just some limes for, it had a purpose, I can't remember what. Some green grapes and yellow grapes. Grapes, bananas, see it's late, okay. And then this is for Christmas Eve, just mozzarella sticks, the jalapeno poppers. And then I'm making mac and cheese on Christmas day to go with our brisket. And there are certain gluten-free noodles that I make for everyone when they can't really tell a difference. So I'm gonna make the macaroni gluten-free. And then we always get a couple bags of their bakery sea salt chips. So I think that's it for HEB. Okay, last but not least, Walmart. My Evelyn asked for a dustbuster for Christmas. I'm certain she doesn't watch these videos. So I got her that. I thought it was a really funny question or really funny request from her. And then when I was putting it on the table, Lizzie said, it's the what? Best gift. It's the best it's gift. Awesome. Because it's awesome. So I guess young ladies, young girls like to get received dustbusters. This was 20, about $20. <laughs> And then also, sweet Evelyn, um, she mentioned something about, 
hot chocolate being so expensive and how she really missed hot chocolate. And I was thinking, where is this girl buying hot chocolate? And so I went ahead and got her these two eight packs. They truly were under $2 a box. So I'll see her. She's got finals, um, finals this next couple weeks. So I'll give those to her and she can have her some luxury $2 a box hot chocolate. And then these were just spices that I needed, all spice, cardamom, and poppy seeds, and some lemon extract for recipes for the month. And then there were a couple of desserts that called for these toffee bits, so I got two bags of those. I got some more sprinkles for cookie making, just the green and red. And then there actually was a cookie, my mom bought us a cookie magazine, and you used um, fruity pebbles as sort of like a no bake rice crispy treat thing. And then you dipped them in white, like, um, cookie melts. I don't know, like the candy melts. And then you dip this around the edge. They're really, really pretty. If we make those, I will try to film that for y'all. It looked really cute. And then these Rolos are for the pretzel little snack things that I got at Aldi where you just, um, preheat the oven to like 220 and then melt these for a few minutes and then put another little candy on top or a pecan or something. And the Rolos are really, really good. This is so cheap. <laughs> it literally is like plastic. I probably could have got one like this at the dollar store, but we needed to zest some oranges and lemons for cookies and I lost my grater. So this will, this will work. This is just a mainstays, really inexpensive grater. And then I used up all of my, I didn't buy family size bags. I bought little tiny ones and I used up most of them today. So I just got one pack to get us through the next few months. And then we use these liquid aminos. This is gluten-free. It is a soy sauce substitute. And Brian bought me a small one of these at HEB right before Thanksgiving, but a lot of my recipes for cookies called for this. So I went ahead and got a big thing of shortening. My Everett is about to have surgery in a couple days on that shoulder that's been causing us problems. And so I bought him this big, he loves Cinnamon Toast Crunch just for snacking and recovery time. And then we watch Moss Family TV one episode every night with Evan. He loves it and she makes grits. And I haven't had grits in forever. And so I went ahead and got this. Hers always looks so yummy. So we'll just try this at some point. Okay, let's see. My Eli, who's been out of the house for a year, called me this week and said that he used his oven for the first time. The kid has lived in an apartment for an entire year and just made his, turned on his oven. It cracked me up. So he told me he had made banana bread and couldn't find the tiny loaves that I used to make banana bread. And so I went ahead and bought him this. I'm just going to put this in his stocking as just kind of a funny funny little gift, but I was really proud of him. He baked really yummy banana bread. And then we got our starter. We lost our sourdough starter in the fire, but my daughter Emma had taken some of our starter. And so when I went to visit her and take care of the boys for a couple days, she gave me some more of that starter. And so now we're going to restart making, or I should say Brian, he's the bread maker, restart making Brian's bread. So we had an antique cookie press and last year it totally gave out. It was actually such a pain. It was so pretty. It was all copper, but it rarely worked. So last year I bought this exact cookie press and then so frustrating, we lost it in the fire. So replaced it so we could make spritz cookies. And then I saw that when I was searching for these on the website, I saw these glass holiday loaf pans and I thought they were really pretty and so when the girls and I make pumpkin bread we will make them in these and then we can use these every year. I used the last of my mushrooms tonight in a dinner so I got two more things of mushrooms and then this is the popcorn we're going to put in that new popcorn machine to make the white chocolate popcorn for our gifts. This buffalo wing sauce goes for that Paula Deen recipe I was telling you about with the wontons. And one more Caesar dressing. We're gonna buy some romaine lettuce when we make it to Sam's. This, these Hawaiian rolls are for lunch this Sunday. We're getting, getting together with some family. And so um, I'm gonna make a really yummy lunch that we've been enjoying. 
I've been out of our indoor plant food. I water my plants once a week and have really good luck with this miracle Grow indoor plant food. I left this in the bag because it was leaking a little bit. This is what we use for our laundry spray. I really only needed like one or two of these. I had no idea it would be this many. So I will cut them and put them in a freezer bag in the freezer. We're I'm making Uncle John's corn with our brisket. And we need a couple of Anaheim peppers. The lemons were for some recipes. More onions. I think when I made my order a couple days ago, I didn't realize that I bought two things of onions at Aldi. But luckily, onions last a while, so that should be fine. These little lights are for the tree that is two times the size I thought it would be. So we'll see how that works out. And then I bought these for my grandsons, Danny and Tommy, when we see them for Christmas and give them all of their um, Christmas presents. I thought this would just be a fun little treat for them to get from Ninny and Bobo. That's what they call us. I actually think that I'll have to ask Brian that their tradition was they each got a box of cereal for break, like for breakfast Christmas morning. I can't, I don't know if I'm making that up or not, but that sounds familiar. Two things of iceberg lettuce, and then this shredded iceberg lettuce is for those sandwiches. I'm noticing that some of the produce isn't looking that great that they picked out for me, so I'm gonna send a message. This one isn't that bad. But these blueberries, you can see, are already really moldy. So before I put these in the fridge, I'm gonna take out the moldy ones and then send them a note and hopefully get reimbursed for those blueberries. Brian likes this cream cheese spread on his bagels. Two more things of strawberries for Evan. Really, really getting pricey, so I don't know that we'll continue to buy those this season. Two things of cotton rounds. We bought one on Black Friday, but I know we just needed some for when we run out. And then two things of face wash. I don't think I did down here. This is this gluten-free pizza crust I like. Another just different kind of gluten-free bread. Okay, this is so weird. The last few times I've bought this, it has been like set, the air sucked out like this and it really doesn't puff back up. So I'm probably not gonna get this again. Oops. But I use this as like a hoagie roll when we make like French dip sandwiches or something. So it's kind of a shame because all the other char breads are not freezer like sucked in like that. So I don't know what's going on, but very, very good brand of gluten-free stuff. So I got ciabatta rolls. And then also some hamburger buns. I wanted to get the spicy strips, but they did not have them in stock. So I went ahead and got these spicy chicken sandwiches. This will be an easy dinner during surgery recovery or when we just need a quick and easy meal. Some chicken taquitos for lunches. Hash brown casserole is something that I'm gonna make with the um, brisket for Christmas day. And then I get these for our um, breakfast casseroles and just breakfast. Some egg rolls just for fun. And some different kind of fries. I got sweet potato fries, the wedges, seasoned. And then this is just a gluten-free dinner. These have gotten over $5 a meal. So I used to get four or five each month. It's just easy when they're eating something I can't, but now at over $5 a meal, I just I just can't do it. So I only got one. I'll just save it for when I really need it. And then I didn't take these out of the bag. This is four whipped toppings for holiday baking. And then this is six, just the great value chicken broth. Corn on the cob. I think there's six there for Uncle John's corn and then three gallons of milk. When I bought these last time, I bought the wet ones and I didn't mean to do that. I mean, they'll work fine, but I went ahead and got two of these for the spray. This is the tiny, I thought this was tiny also, but at least this is big to go with the big tree, but this does not look like something that you would put on your kitchen table. So anyways, it is cute though. We can use it in the new house too, but we'll figure it out. We'll, I'll show you what the tree looks like when we get it all done. Okay, thanks for watching. It is now 7.20. Evan has gotten quiet, so hopefully he is getting ready for bed. We still have Advent reading. I still have all those dishes to do and all of this fun stuff to put away. So it's gonna be 
a late night for me, but I appreciate y'all watching and we should have one more grocery haul post after this of our monthly Sam's haul. So let me know down in the comments if there's anything fun you're buying specifically grocery wise for the holidays and we will see you soon in another video. Bye.